in Europe are riding this morning uh, with the UK's FTSE 100 index up around about 110 points and the Euro stocks 50 index up about 38 points. In uh, the currency space the Euro is still under pressure at around that 129 level but the dollar is stronger uh, and in the peripheral bond markets both Spanish and Italian bond yields continue to ease. Good morning, I'm Mishak Siddiqui and welcome to your daily market bite. I'm going to give you a quick idea of what's going on in financial markets today. So we had a, a, a strong session in Asia overnight, um, and that was helped on uh, continued weakness in the yen, which uh, helped the Nikkei index in Japan, uh, and that strength followed into a European session this morning. Um, the UK uh, is back in business after a public holiday yesterday, so uh, the, the FTSE is playing catch-up with its European pairs. Um, it's been pretty thin on the ground with um, economic data. We've had French uh, consumer spending, which was uh, much weaker than expected, but nonetheless, investors have shrugged that off. Uh, and uh, generally, the tone is supported by uh, recent talk um, by ECB members that the central bank um, in Europe will continue um, keeping a loose monetary uh, policy stance um, and as long as it's needed. Um, at the same time, investors are still reflecting on uh, the Federal Reserve's latest message that they will look to unwind QE at some point. Um, have it. That's very much de dependent on economic data and the condition of the US economy. Um, now, going into the rest of the session, there's not much out on the economic data side, uh, as I said. Uh, so the focus will be on uh, US data later on, which includes the S&P, Case, Schiller, Home Price Index. Um, for the rest of the week, we have um, some, some eventful uh, economic data, such as U.S. Uh, GDP, and we also have Eurozone unemployment, uh, but that's not till Thursday and Friday. Uh, other than that, not much else to say, so I will see you guys tomorrow for another Daily Market Bite. Thanks.